वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर द स्टोरी ऑफ हाउ आई गट द चांस टू वर्क एज अ नीट डिजाइनर इट्स बीन एन इनक्रेडिबल जर्नी फिल विद अनएक्सपेक्टेड ट्विट्स एंड टर्न्स I must admit once I thought that textile engineers and fashion designers were the same. I thought when I become a textile engineer I could be a fashion designer too. This idea formed in my mind during a mathematics class. One day a boy came in proudly announcing that he was selected for a textile engineering degree at university. Our lecturer explained that a textile engineer is someone who makes garments and use mathematical knowledge like making straight lines on a shirt so that's when i thought the two roles were one and the same that was long long time ago and now i know the differences so after i finish my advanced level education we had a nearly a year uh, before receiving the results and starting university during that period i decided to find a job to gain some experience and earn money and keep myself occupied that's when i found a job in the logistic department of a garment factory it wasn't the most glamorous job but it was a start the best part the logistic department was right across from the product development department when all the designers were working separated by a glass wall every day I watched the designer sketching, testing samples and creating beautiful pieces. It was like a peeking into a world of creativity and style and I was captivated. As time went on, my desire to become a fashion designer grew stronger. One day I need to take leave to submit some university documents. When I approached my manager to request leave, he asked about my future plans. I told him about my interest in textile and fashion design. A month later, uh, my manager told me about a vacancy in the product development department. The vacancy was a bill of material costing position, not exactly a designer role, but it was in the product development department. I saw it as a golden opportunity to get my foot in the door and eagerly accepted. Before my official transfer, my manager allowed me to spend two hours every evening practicing in the product development department. Those sessions were invaluable. I absorbed everything I could, and finally, my transfer to the product development department was complete. After just one week in the product development department, I received incredible news. They need the junior interior designer because one of their designer was leaving. This was a break I had been waiting for and I just jumped at the opportunity. So, after I became a knitwear designer, I practiced so hard and knitwear designing is a unique task. It's not just about creating designs. We need to understand yarn stretchability, machine programming and so much more. I was very happy working there and absorb every bit of knowledge I could. and i received my university admission letter and started my university education over time i advanced from a junior knitwear designer to a knitwear designer by the time i resigned from the company i had reached the position of senior knitwear designer and that my friends is a story of how i got the chance to work as a senior knitwear designer it was a journey filled with a hard work determination and a bit of luck Thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel